So now in this fourth question, it's about sequence and series. And it's given that the circumference around the trunk of a large tree is measured and found to be 5 meters. And after one year, the circumference is measured again. And now it's found to be 5.02 meters. Now, given that the circumference is at yearly intervals, forms an arithmetic progression. Find the circumference 20 years after the first measurement. So 20 years after the first measurement. So basically, let's say if you're going to consider this as your first term. If this is the first term, you are basically saying what's the value of the 21st term. And if let's say you are considering this as the first term, then because we are considering something that is after first year. So if you are considering this as the first term, then n becomes 20. What's the value when n is 20? So either depending on what you want to choose, uh, you can go ahead. All right. So first of all, because it's an arithmetic progression, we need to find what's a common difference. Right. So how do you find the common difference? Your common difference is nothing but the difference of the uh, consecutive terms. So it's 5.02 minus 5. So the answer is 0 0.02 meters. So the value of D is clear. It's 0 0.02 meters. And now let's say that I'm considering this as my first term, 5.02. I'm also saying that I should not uh, keep on writing therefore, therefore symbols now and then. All right. So I, I can just draw an arrow. And I can say that now A is equal to 5.02. And the value of N that is given to us is 20. And we are asked to find the term that is present on this 20. So according to the nth term formula, nth term of arithmetic progression is given by Tn, the nth term is equal to A plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So now we know that a is 5.02. This will be 20 minus 1, which is plus 19, and d is 0 0.02. And now if you simply go ahead and take your Kelsey and add them together, you are going to end up getting, let's say, 5.02 plus 19 into 0 0.02. The value is 5.4. So 5.40 meters is the answer of the first part of question 4. That's your final answer of part A. Now in the second question, let's see what happens. Now, I guess it will be asking for the geometric progression. Let's check. Yes, uh, now it's forming a geometric progression. Let me just get rid of all this. Right. So now uh, we are having a geometric progression. And uh, we have to again find the circumference, that is the nth term after 20 years uh, from the first measurement, like after the first measurement. So again, we are going to consider 5.02 as the first term. But now for the geometric progression, we don't have a common difference. What do we have? We have common ratio R. So that's something that we'll have to find. So what's your common ratio uh, for a geometric progression? It's a next term divided by the current term. That's how you get the common ratio. So we are having uh, 5 and 5.02. So the common ratio will be 5.02 divided by 5. So this will be equal to 1.004. If you use your Kelsey, it will be 1.004. And now we again know that uh, over here, the value of A is going to be considered as 5.02. If the value of N is going to be considered as 20. If you're going to consider n as 21, remember that a will be 5, not 5.02. Right? And now we have to find the nth term. Therefore, nth term of GP, nth term of GP is what? It's given by a times, or I can just say that tn is equals to a r to the power of n minus 1. All of these formulas are available in the formula booklet, but that's something that I don't really recommend to any students. This kind of formulas, because it's asked in all the kind of papers, this should be on your fingertips. Only then you will be able to solve these papers very quickly. All right. But let's say if you're having, if you're someone who is dealing with, let's say, five to six subjects in AS or A levels, then obviously you will, uh, you cannot really remember all these things because you are having a lot of things to do. In that case, uh, sticking with the formula booklet would be helpful for you. But anyways, coming back over here, so I know that Tn is equals to 
5.02 multiplied by 1.004 to the power of 20 minus 1, which is 19. So what's your TN value now? It's going to be 5.02 times 1.004 to the power of 19. And it says that it is equal to 5.42 meters. So that's your answer of part B of question 4. All right, so yeah.